and welcome back to my channel if you are new here thank you guys for joining in and please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and let's get into this video so today we are going to do my very first sip and spill video i wanted to do something different i haven't done a video like this on my channel before and so i was like you know what why not do it i see everybody else doing it so i just wanted to tell this story in particular because um I just feel like some men are creeps and it's just really hard out here trying to find your person and I have been on a lot of awkward dates and I just wanted to share this story time with you guys. So yeah, let's get into this video. Honestly, I don't even remember. So this, this like, oh my goodness, this date that I'm about to tell y'all about, this day was like one, it was one of the worst dates, y'all. I have been on a lot of dates in my lifetime, and this was b by far one of the worst ones. Now, um, I met this guy, I was in Arlington. I cannot remember the name of the bar I had went to, but me and my cousin at the time, we had went to this bar. I do not remember his name. Um, Honestly, I really think this happened in 2000 like 17 18 yeah probably like between 2017 18 one of them years so yeah so one weekend me and my cousin decided to just you know go hang out but we ended up going to this bar i really cannot remember what the name of the bar was i do believe that it was right off the freeway so yeah so you know we was just chilling and talking and then we stayed there for maybe probably like an hour or two so after we got done talking and you know just having fun and hanging out and having a couple of drinks and eating we um decided we was ready to go so we ended up leaving i cannot remember what time we got up and left but as we was walking out the door um the guy and his homeboy they was kind of like standing outside just talking or whatever so Oh, we was walking by his homeboy had you know stopped my cousin and was like you know he had wanted to talk to her they got the talking and stuff and so i seen like i seen the guy looking at me or whatever you know and i was kind of checking him out a little bit or whatever so you know so you know i i seen the guy looking at me and i was looking back at him i you know checking him out you know he was kind of nice looking or whatever so he was like he walked over he was he walked over to me and so he was like um hey how you doing and i'm like i'm doing fine and yourself he was like you know he's doing well and he asked me for my name i told him my name was Brittany. so i asked him for his name he was like my name is justin so we got the talking and my cousin got the talking to um his friend and so um i noticed that he was standing by like um like a van um um he was standing next to like a mercedes van so um me and my cousin we asked him we was like so what do you do you do you have like a party bus or something like that and so he was like no it's not a party bus he um has like a a traveling mobile i don't know what the fuck he was selling honestly i can't, I can't even remember what he was selling we got the talking and stuff you know he, i told him how old i was and he told me how old he was and stuff and so he was just basically asking like what are we doing after this and i'm like you know i'm not doing too much of nothing i'm about to go back home and relax um we're not doing anything after this we just wanted to come out and hang like we wasn't trying to go to no club or anything like that we sat there for a good maybe five ten minutes talking and stuff me and him, we actually exchanged numbers. And so after that, me and my cousin, we had left. So after that, me and the guy, Justin, we got to talking and texting, you know, trying to fill each other out and get to know each other and stuff like that. So one particular day, he called me. And so he was like, he wanted to take me on a date. So I'm like, okay, cool. You know, I haven't been on a date in a while. So, you know, why not? So we got to talking and stuff. So he got to ask me like, what did I want to do? And I told, him, I told him, I'm really not picky when it comes to dates and stuff. You know, I'm very open. So he was like, okay, well, have you ever been to a Mavericks game? So I was like, no, I never been to a basketball game. I've been to a football game a couple of times when I went to go see the Cowboys. I've been there probably 
maybe five or six times I've been to a Cowboys game, but I never went to go see basketball live. I was like, watch it on TV or something. So I was like, yeah, I've never been. So he was like, so do you want to go? I'm like, yeah, I want to go. Like, I always want to experience going to a basketball game instead of just watching it on TV. So he was like, okay, well, I'm going to go and purchase our tickets. So he ended up buying the tickets online. So I'm like, okay. After he ended up purchasing the tickets, y'all. Guess what he going to hit me with? Before I tell y'all this part, let me tell you this. I have no prop. I'm lying. I'm lying. I do have a problem with it. I do have a problem with it. But if you have a good, genuine excuse why you don't have one, then maybe we can work something out. After he ended up purchasing the ticket, he going to hit me with, he don't have a car. So I'm like, sir, what do you mean you don't have a car? Like, how you don't have a car, but you got a Mercedes van, truck, or um, whatever mobile service you was driving in. So I'm kind of confused on, like, how you don't have a car, but you have this Mercedes van. I asked him, I was like, well, why you don't have a car? So he was like, well, I traded in my car so I can get my Mercedes um, van. After he explained it to me, I was like, okay, I'm, I'm very understanding when somebody is explaining something to me, the reason why he didn't have a car or the reason why you did X, Y, and Z. So he, he had explained the reason why he doesn't have a car. So once he told me the reason, I was okay with picking him up. I was okay with him. So I was like, okay, so I will pick you up. So I asked him, I was like, okay, well, where by you stay at? This has been so long, so I really don't remember every little details exactly what was said, but I remember some of the stuff that was said and what was talked about. So I was like, okay, well, you know, since you told me the reason why you don't have a car, I don't have a problem with picking you up. So when he bought the tickets, well, me, well when me and him was on the phone talking about the tickets, I believe it was maybe a Tuesday or a Wednesday because the game actually was on a work day. I remember because I had to go to work the next morning. So I can't remember what day it was on, but we ended up going. So after that, um, we ended up getting off the phone. Y'all, when I tell y'all, so now is the day of the date. Y'all... I remember that the game started at 7 o'clock. Yeah, it was like 7, 7.30. I, I remember that's what time the game was starting around that time. So I, I had got off of work maybe probably around 3, 3 o'clock, 3.30. So I had ended up taking a shower. I had found me something to wear, did my hair, makeup, everything. So it's like 6 o'clock now. This guy never called. So it's 6 o'clock. I'm trying to figure out when is he going to call. He having some in his location to pick him up. He didn't tell me why did to pick him up or none of that. Then on top of that, it's like, okay, are we still going on a date? Did you change your mind? Like, you know, what? I'm so big on communication. I don't understand why people do not like to communicate. And I'm so big on it. So, I'm just waiting around trying to figure out, like, when this guy actually going to call. So, I end up texting him, like, okay, are we still on for tonight? Are we going to the game? Like, what is up? So, I text him. Y'all, he did not text back. So, remind you, the game started around, like, 7, 7.30. It's 6.55 now. So, I'm like, okay, well, maybe we not going. So, I waited a good little 10 more minutes. So, now it's like 17. I'm studying waiting. The game did not really start by now. The game didn't start it. So, I'm just sitting there waiting, y'all. So, I got tired of waiting, y'all. I done took my makeup off. I took my clothes off. I put my bonnet on. I was like, you know what? I got to go to work in the morning. I'm going to go to bed. So, I'm like, okay, cool. So, in my mind, I'm like, I ain't even finna fuck with dude no more because that was some weak ass shit you did. And don't call me. So, it's like 725, 730. 
this fool ended up texting me back. He texted me back, was like, what are you doing? I said, I'm in the bed. He was like, what you mean you're in the bed? I said, what you mean? Why I mean why I'm in the bed? Like, what are you talking about? Like, bro, I text you 45 minutes ago and you didn't even say anything. So what, what do you mean why I'm in the bed? Like, you not even communicate with me so I can figure out if we going or not. Like, you really wasting my time and I don't have time for this. So he was like, oh, I apologize. Something came up. Um, I was doing something earlier today and it ended up um, interfering with the time that we supposed to have met up. So I'm like, okay, cool. So are we still on to go to the game? So he was like, yeah, we still going. So I said, okay, cool. Let me go ahead and um, put my clothes back on. So I was like, okay, I do not have your address um, or I'm still picking you up. So he was like, no, I'm just Uber there, but I'm going to send you your ticket. So I'm like, okay, cool. So he ended up sending me my ticket through email. So he was like, okay, well, I'm just going to Uber there. So it don't make no sense for you to come this way because traffic is up right now. So I was like, okay, well, I'll just meet you there. So yeah, I get in my car. So I'm driving. So not only I drove there. So remind you, I'm texting him, calling him, trying to see how far he is. He was like, oh, he like 30 something minutes away. So I'm like, okay, well, I'm like, well, I'm about to get ready to pull up because um downtown was not that far from where i was staying at the time so i'm like okay i'm about to pull up right now i'm looking for a parking spot so they didn't have no more parking spot by the american airline so i had to drive a few blocks up probably maybe like two or three streets up from from american airline so i ended up parking into the garage so i ended up paying for parking parking was twenty dollars so i had texted him i was like hey parking was twenty dollars um, are you going to refund my money back? So he was like, yeah, once I get there, I'll get your money back. So I'm like, okay, cool. I ended up parking. Once I parked, I had walked down. I had, I had to walk down the breezeway because the elevator was kind of on the other side from where I parked it. So the parking garage was packed. So I think I was like maybe on the fourth or the fifth floor. I couldn't really remember. But where I was parked at, I had to walk on the other side because... The elevator was on the opposite side where I had parked from, so I had to walk down the bridgeway. So I got on the elevator. Once I got on the elevator, I had to walk the two blocks down where American Airlines was at. So I get to the door. I'm texting him. I'm like, hey, how far are you? How long are you going to be? I'm here. He was like, um, I'm like 20 minutes away. I will be there in a second. Just go ahead and go and, you know, and, you know, find a seat. So I'm like, okay, cool. So I go through security. They check me in and stuff. And after that, I end up giving me something to drink. I went to go find the seat. So I, I didn't know where my seat was at. So I had to ask somebody who was working there, um, can they help me find my seat? The seats, I'm not even going to lie, y'all. Like, I'm not even going to cap, no cap. Like, the seats that he had purchased, they were some good-ass seats, y'all. They was damn near on the floor. I'm not even lying. Like, he had some good-ass seats. So, y'all, I, I finally found my seat. This guy still ain't here. So, I'm like, okay, yeah, whatever. So, I'm, in, I'm watching the game. I'm enjoying the game. It was like a couple behind me. They was being real friendly. I don't know. White people just like being friendly. I don't know what it is about white people being friendly. But, anywho, I'm not going to lie. They was real friendly. We had a blast. I was having so much fun. I was meeting people from left to right. This man still was not here, y'all. So, I'm when I'm telling y'all, I am not lying, y'all. I'm not lying. When I tell y'all, I was at the game for 45 minutes by myself, and I'm like, okay, what is guy? Because you told me you was 25 minutes away. You are not here. The game is like we are with first of all, we damn near done with the game. They didn't did have time. Um, kid and play was there. They had performed, you know, during the halftime. Like this dude really missing the whole game. I'm not even tripping. He paid for it. I ain't, I ain't paid for it. So I'm gonna just enjoy this, this game. And after this game is over, I'm going home. So 
the, the, the game was damn near over y'all's like 45 minutes had passed and this man was not there. He finally get there, y'all. This man got there literally 10 minutes before the game was over. Literally 10 minutes before the game was over, y'all. So he finally walked his old ugly ass in there. So in my mind, I'm like, you know what? I ain't dealing with dude no more. Once I leave up out of here, I'm going home. I'm blocking his number. We ain't talking because how dare you sit here and have me here by myself like 45 minutes. A whole hour didn't pass, y'all. Like you left me here by myself for a whole hour and for what? What was the what was the purpose of doing it? So he finally walked in there. The game finna be, they got like 10 minutes left in the game. I'm like, you you shouldn't even came because the game gonna be over, so what, what was you coming for? He finally get there. So he was like, um, do you want anything? Because I'm gonna go grab something to drink. And I'm like, yeah, you can bring me back a Sprite. And I was like, you know what? You can bring me back some tenders with the fries. So, y'all, this dude came back. He had my stuff. What pissed me off even more, first and foremost, you asked me what I wanted. I told you I wanted... Um, tenders and fries, which he did give me my tenders and fries, and he did bring me my Sprite. What pisses me off, because this fool, I don't care if he bought it. What pissed me off, because this fool have the nerve to stick his hands in my fucking fries. Sir. Sir. Why you didn't get your own fry when you're at the concession stand? Not only you a whole hour late, but you brought me something to eat and you gonna, you gonna eat my food? I don't care if you, I don't care if you paid for it. You was at the stand, you could have bought you something to eat. Y'all, he did that. I told him you can have it. I don't know where your hands been. I slightly trust you from, for getting my food and drink. And you think you just gonna be, you just, you, you think you just gonna put your, your hands in my food? Nah, we ain't doing our leg. You can just have the food. I don't know what your hands been. Don't touch my food. So I told him he could just have it. He could just have the food because don't be sticking your hands over here. You should have brought you something to eat before you even walk your ass back down here. Like everything about this man he was doing was pissing me off. Everything he was doing, y'all, was pissing me off. Like I was so ready for this so-called. You know what? I was ready for this solo date to be over. I just ain't pay for it. So the game over now. You done pulled up 10 minutes. The game is over. So, the game over. We got up to, you know, we walking out. I'm already in my head like, I ain't even finna be fucking with dude. He might well going on about his business. Don't call me. I won't call you. You going on block. We walking out. Y'all, this dude gonna have the nerve to ask me, can I take him home? What we doing at it? Can I take you home? And but you know what? I'm not taking you home. So I looked at him and I was like, no. And so he was like, what you mean, no? And I said, just like I said, no. First of all, you left me here at the game by myself. You came 45 minutes late to the game. I remember because on the thing, it was counting down. It was only 10 minutes left in the game. So why do you feel like I have to take you back home and you left me here by myself? Like, that was not cool for you to do. Then on top of that, it would have been different if I picked you up. I didn't even pick you up. I should have known from jump. Like, everything was a red flag from jump. Like, I should have known from jump for when I was responding to him and he wasn't saying nothing. When I was asking him, where did he want me to pick him up? He was like, um, I'm just going to go ahead and Uber. Now, let me tell you something. I, when I moved to Dallas, I didn't know anything about Uber because I'm from Louisiana. We didn't have no Uber or nothing like that at the time. So, I'm looking like, damn, you Uber here why the hell you just ain't Uber the first time? Why, why you wanted me to come pick you up when you could have just Uber the first time? It's not even making sense. So I'm like, you know, whatever. So he looking at me. I'm looking at him because I'm trying to figure out why you looking at me. Because I said what I said. I'm not taking you home. So after that, I told him, I said, the same way you got here need to be the same way you go back home. Because I'm not taking you home. First and foremost, whatever you stay in is going it's going way past where I'm going. Like, I got to pass my house up just to take you home. I ain't doing double trips like that. Because for one, I didn't pick you up. For two, you left me here by myself. So no, I'm not taking you home. So 
So he was like, it's like that. And I was like, yeah, it's like that. So he's standing there. I don't, and I'm looking like, okay, you can keep standing here because I'm going to walk off. I just told him, thank you for inviting me out to the game, but I'm not taking you home. And I told him to have a good night. So I proceeded to walk and I left his ass standing there because you left my ass sitting at the damn game by myself. So yes, I'm going to leave your ass standing at the damn game by yourself. I walks off. I get a text message. It's from him. Let me tell you how lame and buddy this dude is. So yeah, so after I walked off from the guy, so he texted me a picture and the picture he sent me, he sent me a picture of a stern wheel. I'm like, okay, you sending me a picture of a Mercedes stern wheel. Okay, and what are you doing that for? So after he sent the picture, he doubled back and he gonna text. He was like, I don't have a problem with spending money on the first day because I like to do that to see how a person really is. And I don't like your attitude and I have a car. So I texted back. I said, first of all, you too fucking old to be lying about not having a car. And first and foremost, when you asked me to come pick you up the first time, you should have seen what type of woman that I really was. Like if I was only just chasing you because of money or what. But that should have told you from jump that whatever you were seeking for or looking for, that I want that type of female. So I don't understand why would you even lie about not having a car. So I text him. I was like, first of all, you grown as fuck to be lying about not having a car. And I said, furthermore, I don't even, I don't care because I wasn't going to talk to you anyway. Um, so when he sent that text, I text him back and I said, that is perfectly fine. I don't care because I wasn't even going to hit you back up anyway because for one, you lied about not having a car. For two, you had me at the game by myself for damn near a whole hour. And you thought I was going to talk to you? Like, are you kidding me? Like, dude, I wasn't going to talk to you either. So, totally fine. So, you know what? So, you could go ahead and go with your lame ass lying about a car. Then, on top of that, you stood me up for 45 minutes and thought I was supposed to just talk to you. It, it wouldn't even get like, bro, literally after that, I was done with you. I was done with you when I was sitting up there at the game by myself. I was done then. But I'm looking like, ain't no sense for me to leave. My thing is... I always wanted to go to the game. I ain't paid for it. It was your money. So I'm going to go ahead and enjoy this game off of your money. But that but that that was just but everything he did was just so whack, y'all. Like that oh my goodness, like that was the worst date I ever been on. And to this day, I don't I don't remember how the dude look. I don't even remember his name. But y'all, when I tell y'all that was the worst date I ever been on, like, I never, when I tell you, I never went on a date with somebody lie about not having a car. Who lies about ha not having a car? Like, you a grown man and you lied about not having a car? Are you kidding me? So, that's the end of my story time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, I will definitely see you guys in the next video. Oh, and before I go, y'all, I have not forgot about the giveaway. So, let me give you a little bit rundown on it. So, um, I originally was going to do the giveaway and post it on my story. I was going to do um, Starbucks and just let everybody get something for Starbucks but I have been seeing a lot of different YouTubers have been doing that and they have talked about how people been taking advantage of the giveaway so I'm very I'm really kind of skeptical about doing that yeah so study doing that I think I'm gonna do two giveaways I'm gonna pick two people to give the giveaway to give the giveaway to and so in order to enter this giveaway you have to be following my, you have to be subscribed to my YouTube channel. You have to be following my Instagram. And I also need you to write in the comments and let me know what you like about my channel and why did you start following me. I'm glad that you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, I will definitely see you guys in the next video. And I love y'all so much and thank y'all for supporting me. Bye. <laughs> Stop the bitch, I got blood on my